Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a video which I am going to use as a supplement to what you see here. How Milan Kuch and Bort Pahor, London and Berlin envisioned with Washington DC my human rights beginning the 2001s. And I'm going to do this since I'm heading to Ljubljana. So I want the world to understand what exactly I am dealing with. So this is going to be continuation of what you see here and also of what you see here. Evolution of so-called Slovenian human rights ombudsman or how London Saxe Coburgota Windsor dictated the new age of slavery using genocide against me through Moscow beginning 1991 using as ultimate genocide tool a future human rights ombudsman violence for Russian trade discount. Yeah, I did spoke about these issues and you know the biggest problem I have, what makes one retarded, is the level of corruption, something that makes this man so proud about himself, that makes him so feel so good about himself. I acknowledge wealthy people to have a lot of psychological problems. When I worked in the United States of America, I did. When I worked in those condos, I couldn't understand sometimes uh, when these people are so wealthy, not that would be angry with me or something like this, but they were just not displaying happiness or something that uh, with the beautiful women around them and everything that they were just, trust me, this man is one very, very, very unhappy man right there that you see. It's just, uh, for my taste, you just too much misery in one. So this is a good video that's going to be supplement to the two videos I already have created about my arrival to Ljubljana, which I was told I'm going to have the right to do beginning the 97, not even 98, but probably 97, by someone uh, who somehow became Slovenian president even in early stages of Slovenia. Oh, so these are these are the these are my main concerns here, which I already have stressed about. This is the problem is that where do you take such complaint? Where do you go to complain when you have identified anywhere from human rights ombudsman the people you see right there have involved in crime against you uh, all the way to Slovenian special police department that should investigate uh, police itself and what you see here is a commission for the prevention of corruption and so on and so forth where the hell do you go to have this stuff investigated. This guy here that you see, this older man as you see, and his apprentice, Borut Pahar, who also became president. Therefore, Milan Kuchan started with a torture as early as in 1997. 1998, he started to bully me when hijacked from Miami Beach, United States of America, where I immigrated in January, early January, almost on New Year. 1995 and was not present in Europe till August of 2006. 11 and a half years I was not anywhere in the world. Twice to Ecuador, where my ex-wife is from, and that's about it. And so this guy got a hold of me uh, and started to torment me with idea on where exactly are you going to go to report what we are doing to you in Slovenia. And what exactly went on in Slovenia beginning the 1995? Nothing that would not start in Russia as early as in 1993. 
Uh, my MKUltra case started in 1990, 1991, when I was still a good friend with the Russians, when it all started. I was brought, I was driving here in Slovenia, I had this Lada Samara Russian car, I like it. Uh, there were some beautiful ladies over there in Moscow, yeah, but uh, this stuff was just the beginning of a lot, a lot of trouble. And when the Serbs got on the picture, this is at least how they presented me as, as they got on the picture, they started to side with them. Well, the truth is, they always sided with them. They just needed first time to develop uh, uh, ability for me to understand the differences uh, in through intolerance, through impatience, through having no right to the beautiful females that used uh, and rate others accordingly with offers that existed somewhere in MK Ultra space, basically. Bullshit. Because the ultimate goal of London, of British and of American White House, US Congress who traveled to Moscow to meet Russians, was to create a racist personality in me. And that was to be done, destroy human being through, with delaying, delaying, delaying his life as much as possible and causing as much as possible physical, especially emotional damage, psychological harm as much as possible on prolong this, like I'm 33 years right now, that's a long time, uh, a lot of time to destroy one. That's when I say that this man is one miserable man from London. Uh, this is related to mental illness. I think he needs something like this because of the issues he has personal problems with. Uh, so probably that's what it makes him feel good, is to basically destroy somebody's life. And all I want to say to you in this video, ladies and gentlemen, is... For the people here you see, who promised you I'm not going to have no place to complain, no, no rights, not, nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, what shocked me the most in this whole matter is the picture that you see here, this here. These are the so-called independence politicians here in Slovenia. These are the so-called independence politicians in Slovenia. One of them is a police officer, ex-police officer. It's a guy that is standing right up front, and there is one guy looking at him, laughing. But this guy that is laughing and looking at him like insane, uh, this individual was taking me from one dot to another dot, from one dot to another dot, and he was quite violent, and he brainwashed, so that these guys who claim they have a master's in London and in Washington, D.C., on the West, that they are pro-NATO and pro-European Union, just like myself, uh, would get the desirable for a British, there's no doubt about that these people work together with the British too. Uh, they all work together. You know, this is, this is since I'm heading to Ljubljana, this is the stuff I need to clarify for the people to understand. Next to him is standing a Janis Jansha right there. He's an ex, also secret police individual, Udba individual, uh, that you would not want to meet during so-called uh, Yugoslav Federation, which really was a greater Serbian Chetnik state, and declared war simultaneously against four different nations, against Slovenians, against the Croats, against the Bosnians, and against the Kosovo Albanians. All inside of this federation, Serbs wanted to the whip, wipe out absolutely everybody. You wouldn't want to mention people like this, but these are the people that I voted for, just like every Slovenian who wanted to have a 
independent Slovenian state. We all voted for these people. We all supported these people. Um, however, somehow, some way, I don't understand. I couldn't understand. I, I don't know if I ever had what I can tell you about Slovenia is basically the closest about the reality to Slovenia. I can tell you the reality I can relate to. Uh, the reality I know is basically that the one that Milan Kuchan stated me, the old man you see here. Slovenia only exists to murder, to destroy people like you, is what he stated me. My goal, he stated to me, is going to be completed together with the guy that you see right there laughing. These are the people who hijacked me beginning the 1991 to Moscow. He stated, my goal is to make sure that you have out of the independent Slovenia less, far less, than what you would have out of Yugoslavia. Yeah, these are the words. Slovenia only exists to murder people like you. That's all there is. Yeah? It was in Yugoslavia, it was okay, but it was people like you, you fuck it up. And now it's a damn Slovenia. And you know what? Slovenia is here only for one reason. It's to destroy, to delete people like yourself. That's what this individual, these people here that you see, both of these people repeated me God knows how many times. Yeah, you understand? This was their definition to me in my face. Beginning the 1995, 1994, I became enemy of the Russians because 1993, because they learned that the Serbs exist. But they learned that Serbs exist through the ex, well, through the Yugoslav prince who ran from Belgrade to London during the World War II, when war started, when the Germans attacked Yugoslavia, he just sat in the plane and disappeared. He went to London. His father did. He abandoned the country really, really, really quickly. Because as much as he came to agreement with Adolf Hitler, with the Mussolini, the people couldn't. And it started to be a turmoil in the country. He joined the axis of evil, but people didn't. So he abandoned the people, he escaped. And it was his son, through the British royals, that helped these people on every step of the way, helped the Russians to get Western assistance as much as possible, even in what you see today is taking place in the modern Russian army and so on oil, gas, for something else, really. So I just wanted to point out the definition of the people, uh, what exactly have people like this that you see here. Uh, Ran, she was involved since 1995, make no mistake. And so was another one, Golovic. And, you know, uh, uh, Katarina Kresal and, and, and you know the whole part of this all everything that you see here there was nobody inside of the Slovenian parliament that would not be involved in this stuff I just put it plain and simple well, the problem is what struck me the most in all this stuff is what really really shocked me these people who would do anything in this world for this country to not exist on a map and have done nothing other but everything in their hands to have one destroyed, decimated, deleted. Terrorize one to degree so that one would succumb on its knees and fall straight back into this greater Serbian Shetnik state. What, 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 what horrifies me in this whole thing is that within this 33 years, the people who supposedly stood up for Slovenian independence, I'm going to explain to you exactly what the difference was beginning the 2015 between these people and between 
these people who demanded even for me to see myself as a slave this was a very very important thing because if you want to put the slavery on a picture you need something like this you need to justify something like this 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 photo here you see was taken on three four occasions with me with my presence on it where they presented themselves to me who was under mk ultra as my masters as my owners and wanted to get on behalf of british royal prince andrew from me a request an inquiry about seeing myself as a slave so they would not be suspicious to the British so the British royals would not be suspicious as per slavery trade which they commenced through these people that you see here through these people that you see here or through these people that you see here so the people that I demonstrated you here it doesn't really matter because these people have a totally same thoughts totally same causes they have totally same i don't know why what the difference would be between these people if they say if they serve the same goals why would i want to see different when there was no difference between these people when the people that i voted for when the people that other people have voted for when it came to slovenian independence when the people that other people lay their fate in their hands have disappeared, have decayed into nothing, were destroyed along the way. And many of the people that you don't even see here have fallen into the hands of portraying themselves deliberately as corrupt and so on, so that they would dissolute, um, so they could... Uh, they could frustrate people who voted for Slovenian independence as much as possible. These people had no wonder, these people had no wonder, again, meet throughout the 33-year ordeal during which I had no right to employment, if there's anything worse than that. And that stuff was used to break my spine, to butcher me, to experiment with a cancer and so on. Did not be fair in respect to my case, even a millimeter. The only thing these people wanted from me, demanded from me, is for basically for me to become blind to whatever was totally, totally obvious. So, human rights Peter Svetina is this individual here. Involved since 1995, his case totally, totally took off. Once the robbery took place in Austria, uh, this became the most suitable candidate since this robbery involved several police officers who were involved in my case this place here our house this became like a totally like a thug place um this is a video you have to see here i already have posted about i'm not going to go into this stuff i'm not going to be this i'm going to post these links below um he would get days off, an extra week of vacation here, extra week of vacation there. Uh, and as he would travel from Austria uh, to Slovenia to have that week, he would stop in Ljubljana. And they pre-planned these stops in Ljubljana, his stops. And he would start to engage in a torture together with other human rights ombudsman's meeting me 
hijacked from the US, uh, tortured for a week, two already, and then as the last dot, I would be delivered to this human rights ombudsman in Slovenia, because this is what Milan Kuchin envisioned as like the most, like the most uh, impressive, like the best way, like, the most, the deadliest for me, like, would have, like, the biggest impact from, like, the most disillusioned. You're tortured, 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 and all of a sudden you see the human rights ombudsman, and it was always like, do you remember where you are? Now, what did you learn this time, and what did you learn this shit? This shit went on for 25 years with this man. Did you see, this was the man who ran violence throughout Slovenia with, the, with his apprentice. So this is not the people that uh, <laughs> these are the people that want this country to succumb, to fall down to its knees, disappear, for the people to become insane about going straight back into, into greater Serbian Chetnik, known previously as Yugoslavia. These are the people who wanted to do it this way. Yeah, The robbery in Austria, as I stated, was done with a uh, with something that these two individuals commenced. They would go to Austria, they would go to Italy, they would travel to Austria, to Italy, on behalf of Vladimir Putin, who deputized them, who gave them the authority. You see, the house in Novo Mesto, about 20 kilometers from where Melania Trump is, and whom Donald Trump met in '95 have a very big special meaning on a global map of politics. It's not just any house, really. It was a reason why Vladimir Putin was coming here. It was a reason why these two guys would go to Austria and did exactly as told by Vladimir Putin to act like two thugs, to demand all kinds of stuff, uh, bully people over there, create tensions in a community, use me literally to intimidate people uh, to cause as much as possible destruction, uh, this disruption, I should say, to cause as many possible troubles, uh, being tortured in that community, and use me as a spy tool to see who belongs to whom, like basically like really, really all of a sudden aggressive way from Slovenian side into three years. Uh, Gorica, uh, and then uh, also to Filach, to Klagenfurt, uh, Graz, and so on. All of a sudden, uh, we're going to boost the Slovenian minority on the other side of the border. We have a Putin is coming and became a regular guest here in Slovenia. Wow, that's the new Slovenian way. And who's going to do us anything when, after all, we started this shit already in 1991 with Russia? With the nukes that the Russians had, nobody can do anything to us. It was a big Slovenian politics, it was a small nation, but a big, big, big politics that these people started. It was a politics based on a violence that went from the village to village, not only from the partisan memorial to the partisan memorial, but from village to village, from the city to city, throughout the entire Slovenia, through the capital, all over Slovenia from a copper on one side, Adriatic coast, all the way to the Hungarian border, Murska Sobota, all the way, from Novo Mesto, from Kershko, all the way to Kran, and so on. Throughout this entire little country, these people want it all. Every job, even your stay at the home or your stay of your father, brother, mother, whoever, sister at the home for elderly people was to go through MK Ultra. I wanted to know for every residence, for every house, on which side they are, what do they want, and what do they want, well, whatever the wallet wants is what they want. No vote for these people meant no prosperity for you. Now, if you did go to the other side, it would be these guys that would wait for you and uh, you could find yourself even in a more trouble. There was a lot of decent people that got themselves in trouble along the way and believe exactly what I believed. 
and the life was just becoming worse and worse and worse. And the worst thing about it was there was nowhere to complain because these people who became a pro-independence leaders way too often found themselves alone in all kinds of tricks, gimmicks, corruption cases. And actually, they helped police to step on their tail. If it was more convenient, they even go and gone and assisted, get assistance from the British. They would catch them even abroad, taking bribes, get them so their own kinds of financial stuff. Because the ultimate goal of this stuff was exactly what? To murder, to kill, to wipe out the people who, like myself, why why exactly why and the ultimate goal was to get what exactly what to give what huh? to what so as milan kuchan stated me you will get way 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 less than you would get even in yugoslavia yeah so what is the ultimate goal what is the ultimate goal the ultimate goal was to murder to kill to wipe out the people like myself i'm going to repeat to you your words milan kuchan hear them your words, words of man who is sitting next to you, words of Tanya Fayon, Bernoshek, Danilo Turk, and others. Huh? What were your words to me? These are not the only people who did the stuff like this. This is what what brings me to to to. <laughs> To incredible stuff that there was no difference between the opposition and the people that are rather sided with Milosevic and have become even a president of Slovenia. He was also this guy here that you see. It was also this guy that you see here. Man, it uh, it shocked my ass when in 2015, going through those years all the way, going through all these years all the way, it, it, it shocked me when I had these people standing next to Milan Kuchan, next to these people here, giving them a confirmation. Yeah. And what kind of confirmation exactly am I talking about? Yeah. This relates more than just it relates more. Okay? It relates more than just uh, my visit to Ljubljana, which is gonna start tomorrow and it's gonna last one week. Uh, I'm not going back home till I get this stuff done. Till you get married. Till you get married, is what my neighbor, Miroslav Berger, stated me. Beginning the 2015, that was already within the two years of the psychi fourth psychiatry, which caused a significant amount of damage to my heart my liver to my kidneys those psychiatric pills are really really not the best thing for you especially when there is already 23 years of genocidal really beginning the 95 really experimentation human experimentation that takes place against you poisoning surgical stuff that's being done to you to the degree that in 2011 i was told i'm not going to be capable to even drive a car with a manual transmission due to injury they inflicted on my left foot to degree i was told you're not going to be allowed you're not going to be capable to go fishing and i was fishing since my 40 year age and find myself on a boat down the river there is river right there behind our house with the neighbors I'm around here did you see from the village demanding for me to fish with a heavy fishing pole with a heavy reel on it throw as far as you can and on to see how much damage is being done to my 
right hand. Actually, not to see how much damage, but to develop more and more and more and more and more and more damage. The same way as you would pull the hook from my room, they have managed to develop a shortcut to my heart because you need 17 kilos to close the door handle to pull one and turn the key around. They were doing the same thing with the fishing poles, which idea was to cause as much injury as possible, basically amplify as much injury as possible in my right hand. I did not video record that stuff yet, yeah, but this is how it was in 2011. In 2015, this man had a speech in which he stated, they're going to let me out of the psychiatric hospital with a precondition for me obtain more proofs in respect to MK Ultra, or will be destroyed indefinitely. They are going to give me one more chance. Well, my, my case became irrefutable in 2010 when I pointed out what went on in Karlstad. But the governments were simply not in Sweden, basically, where I was. They would not admit this. They wanted to cause me more harm, more damage. And they were not going to let go. Charles, King Charles, his son, Prince William, Prince Henry, Harry, would not let go without actually throwing me inside of the psychiatric asylum, which we did after 23 years of torture, MK Ultra torture. Beginning the 1995, it was nothing other than butchery, really. So... The man stated me like this, you're already dead, you don't exist, that was in 2015, but we're going to give you another chance, and the chance we're going to give you is because we like this king here, yeah, they told me, we like this king, it's, his name is Maha Bayerian Korn, we like this king, and we like this princess, Princess Bairi Kitiyama. But remember, if you will not marry her, and now I am repeating the words of Prince William, if you will not marry her, beginning the 2015, words of Prince William to me were just, either you're going to marry her or you're going to go into the psychiatric asylum so that we can destroy you through the damage we have already done to you. You're going to be dead 100%. Uh, British, London, Prince Charles, and so on. Yeah, uh, Those are the words to me. Either you're going to go and marry her and forget about Slovenia, and so on and so forth, or your life is, sealed, is going to be sealed with the dead. Did you have a better man? This one here, who right now is uh, mayor of Ljubljana, and he, this is a Serb from Serbia, literally. I have not presented you one. His name is Zoran Jankovic, this guy here. And there is N missing here, okay. It's a very good friend of Vladimir Putin, too. He's a very good pals. He was selected like uh, in Slovenia, they used to say Gauleiter for the Germans during the World War II. They would come and they would become Gauleiters, leaders of certain areas in Slovenia to, to whom Slovenian people would have to adhere to comply with or they would be shot, killed. Eh? So this little Führer, this little Serbian Hitler, objected even to what I stated in 2015. This man wanted me dead already in 2015. Yeah, for him, I was already inconvenient in 2015. This is the best body of Milan Kutran. Yeah, But really was elected by Vladimir Putin. Um, he just preferably would see me dead. He said, I would just want to see you dead, really. Yeah, he said. And when you have those proofs, I'm going to tell you like this, he said. Don't even come to Ljubljana, if you ask me, he said. Uh, because if you're going to come to Ljubljana in a radius of 30 kilometers, I'm going to get you police, arrest you. And then you already know what's going to be. It's going to be a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana. And if you're going to come to Ljubljana, I'm going to get you somehow 
into psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Poly anyways. These people claimed have had some physical individuals that would come in my direction to meet me and give me problems. They promised me problems in these state offices with the state officials and so on. They promised me psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje as a must if I would come to Ljubljana when I would have proofs about that here. Yeah. This is basically how that would look from his end. Yeah. Uh, Miroslav Berger, however, stated me, if I repeat, yeah, his house, our house. Yeah. He stated me, because, you know, because we believe you that you really like this girl, this, this Thai girl, you know, uh, we're going to give you one more chance, yeah, because we believe you that you really like her, uh, but let's, let's investigate what is there to like, yeah, let's be thorough about it. Um, the girl did something really bad in 96, assisted British royals in a way that she really shouldn't have. I am not going to even say what. She went on to study to Europe. Um, when she got her driver license and before this, somehow I just didn't fit on the picture in her mind. All through, it was agreed in 95, before she was even adult, really, that I would become her husband. And I really was not desperate. I really was trying to be nice. I was young too back then. And yeah, it would be okay for me to wait. I took a lot of bullets, beatings, torture with her father demanding a total um, loyalty to Thailand and well, because he is a Rama X. Ten in Roman is he's a Rama Ten also. Okay, Mahabailangorn is also known as the King Rama. Rama X means ten, the tenth Rama. Um, he insisted me I would marry her and become king of Thailand. X that stands for MK Ultra and his father Bumibol that required because of this case MK Ultra only the best grades from me just like his daughter till this legacy of MK Ultra is uh, fulfilled and I identify everything and everybody and so on and so forth there will be no marriage to her but along the way there were really lucrative deals that were falling down uh, to them. So deals so lucrative that even this girl, this beautiful girl who was to become my wife and uh, in 2002 um, there was a boyfriend actually that popped up on the picture and there could be more that also popped up on the picture and I don't want to even go into it. Started to ask me on elaborate on abuse, on torture, as it is so lucrative, as it is so good, <laughs> Thailand was nothing about other than torture. But they started to accent me that just one more deal, and just one more deal, do you agree to, uh, to be subjected to this, and this, and this, and this? They were really asking about my agreeing, this is not okay, and so on, They're explaining me, uh, and wanted to get absolute confirmation from me. Come on, what is it? We are here already, and it's going to be so good, and we're going to be together, and it's going to be for us, and so on and so forth. Uh, agree to this stuff. It's in your best interest. It's in best interest of us, and so on. And so this is basically how they got this torture going in Thailand. This is how Thailand got their torture, from her words alone. I'm going to ask you, this is so good, and then it's going to be, and so on and so forth. And this shit dragged on for 33 years. Now I'm age 51, with her parents coming here to Slovenia. We're playing like really, really 
down to earth in front of my parents, uh, making a really, really good impression and rather making me look bad, this whole thing. Every occasion, whenever these people would arrive, it would be extensive torture from Slovenian side. Before I would arrive to Thailand, again, police would torture heavily. Then I would distribute me to Thailand and so on, so they could record whatever the hell they want and so on. So this is how the crime went. Apparently, very lucrative stuff. So lucrative that this, my bright to be, actually asked me to elaborate, to cooperate. In torture against myself, literally. And the torture was not so bad, according to them, because the torture had to go on for them to stay on the picture. Because you can see good and bad. It depends how you're going to see. Those are her words. How you're going to interpret it. Or true, she acknowledged herself as not so pure as the place of her birth acknowledges her as. Even claimed me that she did some very bad mistakes and so on and so forth. To me, it was more important about what she wants, basically. Um, you know, uh, we won't let you, we wouldn't let you get away with it is this individual who started to travel to Moscow with the director of Novo Mesto Police and people that you have seen right here in the picture and others. But her in honor, we will do this. What shocked me the most is that the profile of the people that agreed last time with this stuff, which was in 2019. These are the words that were repeated to me. Either you're gonna marry her, or okay, and no wonder that these clips they were collecting were used for a discount oil, for a discount of uh, a petrol, uh, Russian minerals, whatever the British. Uh, and others acquired, they were getting a discount what, for what Yeltsin first stated me in, this would be in like in 1996 or something like this, because British have made some really, really bad mistakes. So when it comes to these beatings, uh, torture, and stuff like this, the Russians didn't mind to take fall upon themselves. There was Srebrenica in 1995, and there was some other stuff also that went on with the British that just didn't know anymore how to hide their face. So the Vladimir Putin, Russians, Yeltsin, didn't mind to take part of that blame upon themselves. And when it comes to part of that blame, they shared with Americans, with the Britons, with the Germans, uh, commission uh, basically discounts on oil, on gas trade, and so on. If you would deliver the clips, Russians were taking uh, were taking a full responsibility for the violence clips they started to take, and so on. They were so much in agreement with one another. But guess who else was in agreement with one another? This is what shocked me the most, that what this guy stated me here, this attorney, Miroslav Berger, stated me, uh, with his wife, she was the one she squeezed me to. She also wanted the piece of me with, with, with her son, Alex Berger. We trust you, man. We trust you, you know, that you love her so much that when this is done, when this is finished, you're just going to pack up your stuff and the next thing you see is going to be Thailand with her. And that's it. That's all there is. 
and it was it will be a coma and during this coma she will be in Slovenia and so on and will be watching over my shoulders uh, to make sure that nothing would happen to me and I don't know what and so on and so forth and back and forth investigating me and so on and I don't know what um, And don't say anything bad about the Thailand, and uh, don't say bad anything bad about us. And uh, if you will say this, if you will say that, the best thing is to be quiet and fucking die, basically. To make the story short, just do your stuff, pack up your stuff, and go to Thailand, or you're gonna go into the psychiatric hospital. These people here shocked me when in fact gave the support to the people like this to the milan kuchan to the guy like this they gave him a support to my neighbor miroslav berger uh it it, it shocked me when i had the guy like this stepping out of this group that i presented you already Janis Jansha of Dmitry Rupel. They also had him after Milan Kuchan. They they really made themselves clear. And I couldn't record this video till exactly I have the stuff that I can state because I don't talk bullshit. Finally I got the memory. Finally I can say what I'm saying, witness to you that they decided the best. Uh, how these people articulated this guy here, how they confirmed this stuff here, this this is obviously a definition of genocide, right? I mean, you, you must be kidding. You delete somebody 33 years, now pack up the stuff and go to Thailand, and that's it. You know what I mean? Why? Because we are doing only this because of you. Once this stuff is going to end, is what my neighbor Miroslav Berger stated, Slovenia is going to go back to Yugoslavia, to the greater Serbian Chetnik state. There will be only one memory on somebody that something accomplished in Slovenia, and that's going to be you who married Princess, Thai Princess Bayrek Tiava. Yeah. This, this is how it was. <laughs> and... To get this thing done is what this guy heard, supposedly opposition of others. This guy yeah, to get these things done, we had to agree with it. Yeah. These people, poor fucking people, they had to agree with it. But you know, they, they visited Moscow in 1991. And in 33 years, these people didn't do shit for me. These people were breathing dead behind my collar. These people were a staunchest supporter of the Milan Kucha. I never got nothing. This guy even went into the jail when they threw me inside the psychiatric hospital. So he could redirect attention to him. He started to seek, do chaos on a stage and so on. Do all kinds of shit. Dance. And so... They, this guy here, and, 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 and others that I demonstrated, they just had to agree, yeah, they had to agree, you know, you understand me? This guy here, you see, he had to agree with, with this guy here, he had to agree with the Miroslav Berger, that, it, so that this could be finished, so that I could get freedom, that would be a precondition for me to just go to Thailand to pack up my stuff and go. Yeah. So this is this is just the way it is. This is a story about the Slovenian independence. These are facts. Everything I have stated. And these facts started with these clowns here soliciting from me, demand to be their slave. These are the people, goof right there on the picture, 
And I want to be very, very, very detailed about this stuff. Who demanded from me to demand from them to see me as a slave and for me to behave as a slave during MK Ultra. And that was because of the British royals. Prince Andrew was the one. They were doing the favor to the Prince Andrew. Because of the British royals on the pictures, they used this Slovenian so-called the so-called Slovenian opposition. There's no fucking opposition. This is what these people also were used for. They were used to literally shield what I also titled as a slavery. The psychiatry in Slovenia became ultimate tool for the human trade and for the butchery. Yeah. So just want to want to clarify all these issues about who was who all the way to 2019. From beginning from 1990 all the way to 2019 and then 2020. They just have to agree with it, you know. You're gonna you're gonna do this, right? The Thai royals were used as a shield of Milan Kuchin, ultimate genocide. Really, what they accomplished together with the British. For the sake of the better world, um, through the eyes of the nation that felt disgusted about their own individual, such as myself, uh, and was relieved to get assistance from another country, non-European, located in the Asian part of the world, so that that conscience about racism, ethnicity, uh, you know, racism would not come to place, you know, the racism in which this man with the Vladimir Putin accomplished to portray to the nation, Slovenian nation as, because you know, they were so disgusted with themselves that they seek the solution with people that you see here in another part of the world that would save, you know, that would redeem their uh, Slovenian conscience, you know, so they wouldn't feel ashamed based on who they were. Um, this is the story about the Slovenian independence from my end, from, from exactly what, what went on and how they envisioned even what would become a future complaint once you would have proofs about existence of MK Ultra, how you should just pursue that, you know, as soon as you become recognized where you should see yourself, where you should continue from therein, you know, how these things would go from therein. So, from the realistic point of view, not from the point of view of Peter Svetina, whose resume is incredibly, incredibly impressive, just as uh, Milan Kuchan have required, uh, and just as I was told, I will go and destroy uh, such a beautiful man, such an impressive man, um, too damn bad, you know, and he goes the same, it's, it's, it's exactly, exactly the same recipe that's been used for her. Those pictures of her and everything that is, that is on the internet and everything, this is just, you're, you're not talking about the princess, you're talking about, compared to myself, I'm a, I'm a total vagabond, you know, I don't know what to say. And another thing I'm going to say, with uh, so many health problems that they instilled in me, through so many conspiracy theories, using a Hollywood, uh, cancer, this, that, you have, I don't know what you have, you know, what kind of issues and so on. Um, I thought it would be just important, not only for me to stay here in Slovenia, um, but to also clarify the issues 
behind this British lunacy on how they envisioned uh, the Slovenian human rights ombudsman over the course of the time, the, the, this, this evolution of one, uh, and literally my trip to Ljubljana, which is now coming as next, before something like this actually happens. Yeah, because, you know, I'm not going to Ljubljana to, for a sightseeing. I'm going to Ljubljana to straighten up some issues that are way overdue. Um, I totally understand <clears throat> the point of view uh, from, you know, this beautiful lady here, whom I wanted to marry so many times, and he just, every time that somehow things did not fall together, um, a truly, truly um, yeah, it was like this. How are you going to marry me if you will not present uh, the proofs about something else? The agreement was to prove the existence of MK Ultra. It does make sense. It does make sense. From one end, yeah. That money was good for the crocodile feeding and for holding guns against my had on too many occasions uh, entertaining and British and Russians and themselves um, talking even to me about the money when I was inside of the psychiatric hospital afterwards and you're talking about her and her father laughing in my face that is a little bit heavy uh, I, while well, I completely understand that this is other culture in Asia, I totally understand that. Yeah. I understand that there are great differences between cultures that exist. I think that this kind of conduct, I'm sure that Princess Baira Kitiaba understands are going beyond the cultural differences and become, in my point of view, universal. I'm talking about the crime degree, of course. I'm not talking about here, about uh, culture itself. I'm talking about a crime degree which, from my point of view, from basically from what I see, uh, is like... In Slovenia was really really bad too. It was it was bad all over the world. Uh, but you know, uh, how the hell would it be? I mean, you know, Russia and uh, you know Serbia. It all started for the sake of the Russia and Serbia. They they were in charge of this case. You know. Um, British and Americans and, and Germans assisted them whenever the hell they could. Um, they were doing really, really bad stuff in other countries so that I would feel more Russian, so that I would feel more Serbian, you know, uh, and, you know, so that I would feel finally, what, more Thailandese? Uh, so that beaten up in my own country that I would feel a little less, what, what is it, human or Slovenian? 
and so that then finally I wouldn't fit in any part of the world. I understand, but I also understand the differences, the cultural differences, uh, and where the whole thing is heading, and where the whole thing headed, and in which points, by the way, these people here became their relatives became multimillionaires. These people became so wealthy. They, they became wealthy beyond their riches. He's got a man, friends, personal friends who own hundred millions of dollars and so on. Uh, from Milan Kucha and son wanted to buy a nuclear facility here and so on, all kinds of stuff like the corruption just uh, without any limits. They don't portray, but they have relatives and all these people have one thing in common, and it's called corruption. So I'm afraid that they're so united in that corruption, tomorrow I am just not going to be capable to satisfy their needs. And so this complaint is going to go forward, also against the Thailand, anti royal family, but overall against the Thailand is royals, I believe, are just a product of, you know, um, whatever the state requires. You know, I think they're out there so that the state gets that extra mile, extra service, that they get that extra attention, basically. Yeah. If you want to use the stick like this uh, to make your point of you, then that's how, basically, that's how it's going to be. It's going to do it like this. One point, one dot, they were all united, you know. For 33 years, there was nothing but a stick. For 33 years. And for 33 years, uh, it's actually impossible to even explain how. What an imbecile, what an animal, what a shit I was seen as. Um, how I was actually viewed as your only chance is what uh, neighbor Miroslav Berger stated your only chance is going to be your only chance is going to be your one and only chance is going to be it this is going to be it I'm thinking about and what I'm going to miss in my life. I'm trying to understand. The only thing that you see on that picture that I like would be, you know, would be a girl that would just have to comply with a father. Uh, somebody that, due to cultural differences, would just have to comply with a father. That's actually something that is tempting to me, something I would want to see myself in. Something that would guarantee me that she's a victim of something that places her in a rank of people that just didn't have, you know, the chance uh, to, to do it differently. And the whole thing just had to be done this way, basically. You know, that it that it just had to be done this way. But then, again, as I stated earlier, something is saying to me, um, especially due to promises from her father, that I'm going to be used as a food for the crocodiles. But it is police law enforcement 
not only is the food uh, for the crocodiles, but we'll get the bullet as soon as I get in Thailand. Uh, something is telling me that this is just not an invitation, this is just not Something is telling me that there is no difference between between this here that you see and everything else I have spoken about. Something is just telling me that they are buying themselves really a time. That's what they want. They want more time so that war can progress in Ukraine, so that things can go past. And if necessary, maybe something else could be done for Putin because this is basically whom they work with all the way. That's all there is to it. As soon as the war in Ukraine is going to go past, all the things are going to fall back into their place. I don't have anything else to say for this video. Today is May 8, 2023. I did try to video record this few times. It was kind of difficult to do it but I'm sure you got an impression. That picture right there that you see, that was the picture for the Prince Andrew. And Prince Andrew's initiative, these people posed in front of me, demanding from me, through extensive amount of torture. It was not only Milan Kuchan who was involved in it, if there was any difference in it. They did a sale for the British royals. They produced them a clip in which I actually asked them, to become their slave, that they should just behave like a master. And they pose there proudly, laughing, pretending like stupid. And you have Igor Boucher, Yanis Yansha right there, and two other individuals, all involved in MK Ultra torture, butcheries too. Melanin, you know, it's called melanin. 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 It's called melanin. This here. See this stuff here? Do you see what this is? It's called melanin. And I think that this is exactly what was used to measure the cancer. You're going to say I am insane? No, I'm not insane. Somebody also gave me a tip who was involved in it and who observed this. Stuff. I'm not insane, you know. You can measure. You can measure the cancer. If you develop the cancer lymphoma, lymphoma, thrombosis, and so on, through the melamin, you can measure the cancer in an individual accordingly with the food he consumes, with the piggy that you use for the human rights experimentation. That's exactly what we used. Now, you understand why I'm going tomorrow to Ljubljana? Nobody told me anything about anything. They tested absolutely everything on me, including the medications, all kinds of stuff that they ate, they consumed. Stuff these people did to me goes far beyond what Hitler did inside of the Auschwitz, and I was promised this stuff, this is the way it's going to be. It's not so much about what Yugoslavia would give, you know, when compared to Slovenia. I would get way less, he said, 12 times less, he said, 12 times less. 33 years like this, you know, it's about something else, too. A little earlier, I have spoken to myself, I said to myself, you know, if it's a 
white person that does it the white person and please take note i don't consider myself as a white i am eastern european that's all there is hitler had a special plan for eastern europeans not only for other races but that's how it goes if the white person does something to the white person that's exactly what it is with this with this blogger, with his video view counters, with his blog view counters, with blocking me, with causing me all kinds of problems. That's one thing, you know? I'm just thinking about how I, I fall prey to this hatred and so on. But if somebody of other ethnicity, especially ethnicity, if, it, if that ethnicity is exposed, if it's claimed for one that is, that is engaging in some kind of practice that that is stealing and, and, and so on and so forth, does it to you. You know, you would be surprised how quickly you start to take a note from the internet about what other people are experiencing and how fast you find yourself on a wrong track. So, you know, when it comes to corruption, it's basically the same thing, you know, it's the same thing like with these people here. I have found was extremely sensitive when I found myself, I've fallen prey to people from other races or people from other ethnicities and so on. It's more effective than if the person from your own circle would do to you. And I had too much of this stuff going on. You don't understand. I had too much stuff of this going on from all directions possible. You know, this is what... Uh, the complaint is going to be about tomorrow. Yes, of course I'm heading to Ljubljana. Of course I'm heading to Ljubljana. You will see me in Ljubljana. I will get to Ljubljana. And I am going to step on your fingers all over you. You're going to see me in Ljubljana. Now I am coming to Ljubljana. So this is just to, be, this is just to serve as a supplement, as an extra to this videos which I already have released about Ljubljana, how they planned them. Yeah. Washington DC, London, yes, from 2001, but Milan Kuchan started this already in 1997, with all the police officers in Ljubljana area involved in it, largely anticipated through a little Gauleiter, Serbian Gauleiter, Jankovic, whom Vladimir Putin personally appointed for this mission here, for my mission to Ljubljana, yeah? With also a special request. On how, as soon as this stuff is done, I should just board the plane and leave the country, basically go to my darling, to Thailand. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna record the date and time. So now you believe me, huh? this stuff here, melamine, melamine, you can go and you can measure cancer this stuff here. You guys go and study this stuff here. This is what they were doing. They were also taking blood samples from me, but that was the main thing. Liver. That's what they went after. Liver they went after in as early as in 1993. It all started in the Russia. It started with the Vladimir Putin as like a, he was like a bodyguard, like uh, he was a KGB guy. And uh, there were several of them. And it started with the general examination inside of the Moscow hospitals. And that should be it. It's supposed to be like initial examination to which these guys here that you see here. This guy have, these guys, these beautiful guys here that you see, that also travel to Moscow. This little shit here that you see, this stuff here. They agree to it. And that examination went on into another examination. 
and then he went straight into the butchery. He went into procedure. Yeah? And in 1994, Yeltsin, demanding from me to acknowledge one as his replacement, selected Vladimir Putin as a new coming president of Russia. That's I'm just giving you a background exactly about how it all happened. The melamine stuff, that kind of stuff that was all delivered by the British, by Americans, to the Russians and to Slovenian side and so on. And they were going to experiment and through butcheries on me also obtain new groundbreaking medical solutions which with which they would use to cure native population here is that's how they presented to Slovenians here that I would be used like a macho, moch, ma, moho, you know like like a secret way to get new medications and they got they got the they became wealthy a pharmaceutical company next door that that engaged in human experimentations on me that obtained new machines modernized itself and so on yeah they did. That's how they got ahead. And for me, it was just a psychiatric hospital. For me, it was no right to employment, broken spine, cancer, thrombosis, destroyed liver, kidneys, and so on, heart failure. That's what that is. No right to go even to physician. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. This video, I'm going to accent again. It's, it's just before I close this. Very, very important for me to, to action this stuff again. But remember, to get this stuff done, yeah, for me to learn Polish and to search like a homeless individual, I used to sleep in the forests. I used to sleep in the forest. I had like 15 bucks maybe in my pocket when I ran for life again in 2018 to Slovakia where I filed for political asylum where I was extensively tortured under an MK Ultra without any sleep marched through Slovakia through Poland sleep in the forest to go I report myself to file for political asylum sleep inside of the forest during even work in the factory for which I knew it was guaranteed to me during MK Ultra I'm going to end up with a broken spine with a cancer, with thrombosis. I don't recall the people like this would do this stuff. I don't recall these people that would go through the stuff like this. I don't recall this. These are the people that were against the NATO. They were against the European Union. And look, you see what this is? You see where the whole thing... Do you see who is doing a Soviet Union? Do you see who is... Gluing back greater Serbian Chetnik state, do you see who is doing this? Do you see how we who fought against these people so that we could become part of the European Union, greater trade relations, part of NATO, do you see how we are butchered, massacred here? Do you see your politicians in Washington, D.C.? in London, in greater than Great Britain? Do you see your politicians in Berlin? What, who is paying the price? Who is taking the toll? Who bleeded in this case for 33 years and how? Do you see yourself who you are? You're saying you are about the freedom, about the world, and I don't know what. You're going to bring the freedom where? What? What do you have to offer to humanity or to anybody? It's basically betrayal. A sail, a knife in the back. This here, this is this is what my case was all about. Just remember what I told you. To get this done, yeah, you understand? To get this done, to get this finished, we have to agree with them. We have to agree with them, yeah. So when you complete this stuff, you just take the plane and go. That's all there is to it. It's for Slovenia. Um, 
that's like the only thing that anybody ever accomplished. That's you, basically. We had to agree to get this done. Yeah, we had to agree with them to get this done. We had to agree to 33 years of corruption, of accepting millions and billions in corruption to get this done. Yeah, I'm gonna simplify for you. We had to agree to get this done. 33 years. This is what. Loise Petrle, Dmitri Rupel, Janez Janša, the so-called Slovenian independence people, the pro-independence people told me last time in 2019, in 2020, they repeated, when they hijacked me from Poland. They could nothing but agree with British. It's either going to be like this or it's going to be a psychiatric hospital. With my father on a dead bed, literally, they, they, that's how far they came with this assistance altogether. That's how it is. One by one. We had to agree with nothing else, but we had to agree. These people did not do one thing other than knife in the back against me for no less than 33 years. I'm talking about the pro-Slovenian independence people. You're going to see a fucking hell when I come to Ljubljana. It's not going to be Jankovic only. It's going to be against you too. I am not going to be taking sight in one dot only. And that's basically death, murder through collective corruption. We had to do it to get this we had to we had to agree to get this done and what the fuck have you done in this whole thing what the fuck have you done what have you done you guys are going to explain to me what the fuck have you accomplished in 33 years you're going to you're going to disclose how much money you and your friends got how much earnings you got how many people you murdered along the way betrayed Because this is basically the stuff I want to know about who have done, what have accomplished, and how. I already know about that stuff. I didn't do it because of you. With the people like you guys, I could only do one thing, basically. I put a rope around my neck and hang myself, or put the bullet in my head, which you were teaching me together with Milan Kucha to do it anyways. You tried your best, and you failed time after another. 